Hi there, this is Vicki Ronchetti with Show Dog Prep School. Today I'm going to talk to you about bait in the show ring. The first thing I want to say, and I'm going to clear this up, but if you're familiar with my work and you've heard me speak before, you probably have already heard me say this, but bait is not necessarily the same thing as using food in your training or as a reinforcer for behaviors you want. When you're training an animal, you have to either have the animal want something or want to avoid something. Because my focus is positive reinforcement training, I don't wanna do things that the dog's gonna to work to avoid, like leash corrections. I'm gonna try and get the dog to do something right and then reinforce him by giving him food in the show ring and in my training. So even if you feel like we don't use bait in the show ring, you know, with my breed, don't feel like you can't or shouldn't use it in your training program. You, you, you should still use it in your training program. I mean, we need to reinforce the animal. And sometimes we have uh, food in the show ring, not necessarily to bait the dog, but to build a positive association with the show ring. So I was showing a friend's Irish wolfhound, and that's a breed that's typically not baited in the ring. Um, but I was trying to build a positive association with me and being in the show ring while his owner who he adored was sitting outside at ringside. So you bet I'm gonna bring in a piece of string cheese and let him eat some while he's in there. Not because I needed to get ears or bait him or, or use it for focus, it was because I was doing that to build a positive association. So even if you don't intend to bait, no, you can still use training in your training program. But many of us do bring bait into the ring, sometimes because we want to reinforce behavior. Sometimes we want to get focus. Sometimes we want to get expression and ears and that kind of thing. Um, and we're lucky that in this sport, we are able to do that. We can have the luxury of food in there to give the dog when they make good choices and to build that association we want with the show ring. So my training treats generally are going to be small, soft, easy to eat treats. And the value of the treat how good it is depends on that dog. So when I'm training my Lauchens, which are a small companion breed, I usually use something fairly high value because that's what they require to work and to be interested. For my Dachshund, I can use kibble to train him and he's perfectly happy with it. I need something higher value in other more distracting environments, but training at home with kibble, not a problem. So something small, soft, and easy to eat. And again, if you have a dog who's not very foodie or is picky, you might have to use something higher value like small pieces of hot dog or cheese or even meat. Whereas for your more foodie dogs, you could use something lower value like Zooks or store-bought treats or something like that. So for gating training, anything with movement, I'm gonna use something small, soft, and easy to eat. For stacking, many times, because I use the focus hand stack so much, which is where there's a pile of food out in front of the dog to focus on while we're teaching them to be stacked, I use a lot of small pieces of treat. And the value of the treat, again, depends on the individual dog. You don't want it so low value that they're not interested, and you don't want it so high value that they're jumping off the front of the table to get it. So generally, I'm going to use something small with a lot of pieces that they can easily eat so we can have some nice training momentum. Sometimes for stacking, I will even use a larger piece of food, like a slice of rolled dog food or a cheese stick or a hunk of chicken breast or that kind of thing. So there are times when I'm going to not want to pick up pieces and feed it, but I want to just give the dog an opportunity to nibble a little chunk off and pull it out away. So that would typically be for stacking work. And then of course, if we're doing any sort of uh, desensitization and counter conditioning with fearful dogs or working on arousal issues or anything like that, then we're gonna be generally using the highest value food that we can because we're really trying to shift emotional state, which is a little bit different than just building behaviors. Actually, it's a lot different than just building behaviors. So in the ring, I typically recommend large pieces of bait. Um, it's just, for one thing, it's easier to store. So if you're going to stick it in your bra or in your armband um, or something like that, a big piece is easier because then you just have to pull it out and you have it in your hand. And again, you can let the dog nibble off a little piece and put it away. I'd like to use something that I don't mind putting in my mouth, especially with table braids where you need to pick the dog up and you might need to do something with a, a hunk of cheese or something. So, String cheese is generally my go-to. 
It's relatively inexpensive. It comes individually wrapped. It is easy to store. It's like super user friendly. You pop it open, it's done. And most dogs like it. And in my experience, most dogs don't have bad tummy reactions to it. So for that reason, I really like it. But I'll also sometimes use uh, a, a piece of chicken, like just a hunk of chicken. I have a friend who makes, uh, has a special pork recipe that she makes. So she makes like pork loin, but you know, again, you want something that you can get a nice chunk of so that you can just throw it in your pocket or stick it in your armband, pull it out. It's high enough value that the dog is interested. You can let them have a bite and then put it back in its storage spot, wherever that is. Um, so String cheese, chicken. Also, I really uh, like roll dog food. So that's the food that comes like in a big sausage for the dogs. Red Barn is a brand. Um, Natural Balance is a brand. And you basically just whack off a piece and then you've got this rain, this round flat piece, you know, as thick as you slice it. And that's another good one to take into the show ring as well as liver, but liver... I don't really like putting that in my mouth. I also don't really like putting um, the roll dog food in my mouth. So that's probably one of the reasons why cheese is my go-to. But I really think with the cheese, it's because it's so easy to get. It's so inexpensive. And depending on how many dogs I'm taking or whatever, I can just grab a few of those sticks. And if I don't have enough food for myself, I could eat one of those and also just have it on hand for that. So those are my ideas for using bait in the show ring and the treats that you're going to use for your training. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow us on our Show Dog Prep School YouTube channel.